Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you Super Tux card on the Vision 5.2 RISC-V single board computer. So someone posted the instructions to compile Super Tux card. And so that's what I also did. Um, so it's just copying all the commands and for instance uh, with shift insert you can paste it in the terminal so you don't uh, make any typos and there's only one thing that there is a typo and that's with this command so you see that there are some dots at the end and when i um, used three dots at the end i got an error message so i changed that into only two dots and then it worked and this is just uh, a summary of what you have to do and he also gave the link to the source so you can also have a look at that if you want to and I tried to change the resolution and I tried to set it to 1920 by 1080 and that was not a good idea and I tried to change it back and Super Tux card crashed so I couldn't change the resolution anymore but you can go directly to the config file so in my case it's in this directory uh, so we go into that directory and then you see the config.xml file So you can change the config file with something like nano and in my case I had to go to the video settings and change it back to 1024 by 768. So here is the directory with the source code and then you can go into cmake build bin and here is super tux card So it's not the fastest experience, but I think for a RISC-V chip, this is okay, this is doable. And I'm going to display the frames per second. I lowered the graphical effects to level two. And uh, I only get audio from the headphone jack not through uh, the HDMI cable so let's try a race
Well, it's a pity that there's some flickering. I'm not. This wasn't there when I first started it. So let's see if we can get rid of the flickering. So let's lower the graphical effects even more. Let's try a simpler track. So I'm not really sure why the lower settings that they give some flickering in the screen. But this is playable, uh, even though 14, 15 frames per second is not really fantastic, but it's, it's playable. And yeah, previously I was able to play it with uh, lower graphic settings level. Not really sure why it starts to flicker now. So, but your mileage may vary, who knows? Um, so when you get the flickering, uh, yeah, you can try to play with those settings. Uh, of course, uh, this is all a bit uh, experimental. Uh, the software is not really ready for, let's just say, production. It's still in a beta stage, you could say. But things are looking better and better. So hopefully when things get more stable, um, yeah, we can play this game without the flickering. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.